Hello, and welcome to Tech Classes with Houston Public Library. I'm Rachel, and today I'll be guiding you through Microsoft Word. Word is a word processor software that allows you to write, save, and edit documents of all kinds, including letters, resumes, and meeting agendas. Most anything that can be done on a typewriter can be done on Word, only it's a whole lot easier to correct mistakes. In this lesson, you will learn to perform basic tasks in a word processor, format and edit text, work with language tools. If you are unfamiliar with how to use a keyboard and mouse, we suggest you take the basic mouse and keyboard class prior to expanding your word skills. For today's lesson, we will be highlighting text in order to alter it. To highlight, use the mouse to click the left button and hold it down to drag it over the text. Release the mouse button and the text should be highlighted. Let's open up Word. Word has many templates for different types of documents, but to start with, we'll use a blank document. It's always a good idea to name and save your document when you begin working on it. The ribbon, or menu bar, has several tabs that let you perform different functions. If you select File, then Save As, and name your document, we'll call it Example Document. This will save the document we will be working on for this class. Now, try typing a sentence. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The squiggly red line under the word brown means that it is misspelled. If we right-click the mouse while hovering over this word, it suggests the correct spelling. That's just one of the many great things about Word. Let's go back to the ribbon. When you open Word, the ribbon is always on the Home tab, which has the tools you will probably use the most. You can use these to format the text. For example, we can make it smaller or larger. You can change the font, that is, the style of the letters. You can also make your text bold, italic, or underlined. If you make a mistake, all you need to do is click the Undo arrow and the text will revert back to its original state. Moving over to the left-hand side of the ribbon, you can use the clipboard icon to copy and paste. To copy, select your desired text and clip the clipboard. Choose Copy. To paste, place your cursor where you would like the new text to go. Click on the clipboard and select Paste. You can also use this feature to cut or remove text. Copy, cut, and paste are very useful and real time savers. Skipping over to the paragraph box. These icons with the five little lines are for alignment. For most projects, the text should be aligned to the left side of the page, but sometimes you might want to center it, align it to the right, or justify it, where it is aligned both to the left and to the right. Just above the alignment icons are your options for creating a bulleted list. These are really handy when you're making numbered lists as well. Clicking the little arrow in the corner allows you to set the spacing on your document. If you need to change the spacing to double spaced or single space, this is where you will find those options. The next tab is Insert. This tab gives you the option to add a special touch to your document. You can add page numbers, insert symbols like copyright and trademark symbols, and even add special characters used in other languages, such as the N with the tilde used in Spanish, or the C with Cedilla as used in French. An important feature on the Layout tab in the Page Setup box is Orientation. This lets you pick whether your document is the more standard portrait or landscape. Next, we'll look at what's on the Review tab. The first thing you'll see is Spelling and Grammar. You can use this to make sure you've spelled everything correctly and your grammar meets current standards. As we've seen, Word will let you know when you've made a mistake, but it's always good to review. Word count is also here for when you want to make sure your 500-word essay is really 500 words. 
You can even select Read Aloud, where an automated voice will read your document to you. Now let's use some of the things we've learned. First, click next to our sentence with the mouse. Then, select the bullets icon. Next, we'll highlight our bulleted sentence. Copy it, then press the Enter key, then Paste. Continue pasting until you have a page full of quick brown foxes jumping over lazy dogs. Our final step is to print. Remember the File tab from earlier? This is where you will find the Print button. Select Print. Select the number of copies you want. If there's more than one page, you can select to print only certain pages. This also gives a preview of what your printed document will look like. Note that the computer has to be connected to a printer for this to work. Congratulations! You've just made a document in Word. If you're interested in learning more, check out our full list of classes. If you're looking to expand your learning with more advanced courses, you can access lynda.com. Use your MyLink card number and PIN to log in and start learning today. If you need help getting started, call 832-393-1313 to speak with one of our friendly and knowledgeable librarians.